lead me to the cross where your love poured out. Bring me to my knees, Lord, I lay me down. Rid me of myself, I belong. Everybody, Wade McNutt here, pianomeditation.com. And uh, let's just start in prayer. God, just help us to, um, to die to ourselves, to rid us of ourselves, like it says in the song, so that we can actually fully belong to you. We can give ourselves to you. Lord, I pray over the student wherever they are today in the world. Bless them on their learning journey. We ask this all in your name. Amen. All right, our song is Lead Me to the Cross. We're in the key of D, D Dog, D. And uh, there's also some music below the video in the description. If you're on your computer, you can copy and paste it, put it into a Word document, format it to look nice like it'll be on the screen here in just a second. Also, uh, we'll be using cheat sheets on page two. If you want those for free, you can get a PDF. Look in the description as well and click on the link that says sign up for email list and then I will send you that uh, cheat sheets. It sends it automatically, really quickly. Uh, and cheat sheets, it's just a chord booklet helping you learn how to play chord piano. Here we go. Starting with the intro. Um, B minor is our first chord. And I want to play it in root position, which means uh, your thumb is playing whatever the name of the chord is. B minor, thumb is playing B. So B, D, F sharp in the right hand, and in the left hand, B and F sharp. Now, what you want to do with these lessons is take them chord by chord. So you may want to pause it right now and go, all right, I got to get this B minor chord down. Let me get my hands used to it and then start the video again and learn the next chord. All right. If not, it'll go too fast for you. The next chord is A, A, C, E. This is in root position as well. We're going to play A and E in the bass. So get that chord down before you move uh, on. Our next chord is G, G, B, D, and a G and D in the bass. So, so far, all these are in a, a root position that we're playing. So these three chords are going to be what our intro is, and we're just going to play one, two on the B minor, one, two on the A, and then four on the G, and the bass will just hold out every time we change a chord. And then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, four. Now don't play like this like an alien. S spread your hands out, make sure it has a nice uh, curve like you're uh, holding a baseball. I'm doing that so you that you can see. All right. So that's what your intro is. Don't move on until you can play those three chords at least and move through that intro progression. All right, going into verse one, we're going to be using those same chords starting with B minor. So I'm just going to play through it and let you see what it looks like. So starting on the B minor, Savior, I come to the A, quiet my soul to the G. Now back to an A, remember. So that A um, in verse 1, you hold out the G for quite a long time before you move to that remember. You might have moved a little quicker in the first part of that. Don't mind me. Do what the record does. This is the same key uh, as it is on the YouTube video, so you can play along with it. Remember, right after burr is when you move to the A. Then back to B minor. Redemption's hill, A. Your blood was spilled, G. For mine. Now here's our first next chord. First next chord? Next first chord? No, it's not a first chord. Um, so we're going to go to a D chord. It's our first inversion. D, F sharp, A. 
it's an inversion because it's not in the normal order. D, F sharp, A, we're putting it in a different order. That helps us to keep our hands uh, in the same spot. Notice my G chord is real close to the D chord. So if you're new to my videos, uh, you are learning inversions. Congratulations for you. Okay, so we're gonna go for my ran oh, and D's in the bass. Ransom to an A. Let me go back to where your blood was uh, spilled. It sounds it's weird to say it like that. Blood was spilled. For my ransom. All right. Now our next chord, E minor. We're going to leave our pinky here and shift to the other notes of our E minor chord. E, B, G. And some E octaves in the bass. Remember to pause. If it's too fast for you, pause. Work out these chords one by one. And everything I once held dear to an A, to a B, A, G. I count it all as loss. And that leads us into the chorus. So let me play through all the verse uh, during one time. Actually, I'll go intro verse. Uh, and so your goal will be to play that together, your kind of first step in learning this song, and then we'll move into the chorus. So intro, two, ready, and B minor, A, G, two. Keep going. Down to the verse, B minor. Savior, I come. Quiet my soul, remember Redemption's hill, your blood was spilled My ransom, E minor Everything I once held dear Counted all is lost. Lead me to the. All right, here we are in the chorus. We have made it to the cross uh, in the chorus. We're going to play a G major seven. So our regular G chord we're playing is G, B, D. And to make it a major seven, all we have to do is add in the seventh note. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, to make it a G major 7. So you have to rearrange your fingers a little bit to play this G major 7. And there's just a G and D in the bass. Lead me to the cross where you're... Now I'm going to give you an option here because there's no exactly one way to play this on the piano. I'm just showing you a good way to play this song. Um, for D, we can jump back to the D we did a second ago. Or if you want to keep it close to this G major seven, you can do this. D, F sharp, A, it's still the same notes, we're just inverting it a different way. So whatever you want to do, lead me to the cross where your love poured out, and then the A's really close. Either one of those are fine, uh, but this option is a little closer. All right, um, and to this point, now we know all the chords. So let me play through that chorus um, in time, and then your goal will be to go back and play this with me. Here we go. Lead me to the cross where your love poured out. Hey. Bring me to my knees, Lord, I lay me down. Rid me of myself, I belong to minor. And we'll go G, A. Lead me to the cross. All right. Now, there's this kind of intro-like progression that we're going to play right after the chorus. Uh, and you can just play the chords if you want to. And it'll do that again. B minor, A. Now on the recording, you hear this guitar player going, 
or that sounded like a dying cat or something. But that's what the guitar player is doing um, in, act- in an actual nice tune, not what I did. Um, so you can just play the chords, or if you're a, doing a solo piano thing, you want to throw in that. I'll show you a little way to play this. So you, this might be too much for you. You might want to skip over this to the, the next part and play through verse two in the bridge. Here's how that guitar thing goes. Uh, here's a simple way to play it on piano. It's not a piano part, but we're making it a piano part. We're going to go. Okay, so play it with these fingers, B, D, F sharp. We have our B minor in the bass. You're going to go. Ma, na, na, na. Switch into that pinky. All right, we'll switch down here to A and E. You're going to go. Now up here to E and B. All right. That's your second part of it. And then you'll land up here and play a higher G major seven chord. Okay, so that's how that lick goes. Let me show you it in time. Two, ready, and. Oops, I messed it up, sorry. Keep wanting to play a different note down here on the second part, uh, it's because I'm looking through a microphone. Can't really see very well. Um, but don't mind my excuses. Let me do it one more time. All right. Um, so that's how that little guitar thing goes. And after you play the G major seven up here, you want to go down to a D chord real quickly before you do that. Second time through, you can just go um, right here, G to E. And when we go down to the D chord, play this version of the D chord and D's in the, the bass. Two, ready, and. Okay, so that's how that part goes. Let me go a little faster now. Two, ready, and. If you want to do that instead of just the chords, uh, that could sound cool as just a, uh, a little piano thang. Here we go into verse two. It's the same as verse one. So I'm just going to play and sing it. And uh, hopefully you're working out these chords and getting them to where your hands don't have to think about them. And you can just play it and sing it with me. So here we go. Two, ready, and. You were as I. Tempted and tried Human Oh, there is something different. I'm sorry. Again, I apologize a lot. Um, so there's this A slash C sharp. So the only thing that's changing here is you're going to play the same A, but you're going to play a C sharp in the bass. That's what the slash means. Anything after that is your bass chord. Um... Yeah, that's all that's different, I sort of promise. Let's do verse two again. Two, ready, and. You were as I, tempted and tried. Human. Word became flesh, my sin and death.
Lead me to the cross with love poured out. All right. Now, at the end of that course, you can go into the bridge. It's going to be on a B minor, and it's just going to kind of build. One, two, three, four. So you build into that uh, part where it's to your heart. So as you're building on that B minor for eight beats, you'll go to your heart. Just hold out those chords, D, G, A. Lead me to your heart. Lead to your heart. Lead me to the cross where your love poured out. Bring me to my knees. All right. So that's. Uh, a nice little simple, good sounding way to play through the song, Lead Me to the Cross. Hope you enjoyed the lesson today. Sign up for my email list. Stay in contact with me. I'll send you updates of new videos and all kinds of cool stuff. And even uh, uh, send you some information on just learning the piano in general and, and you getting better at that. So God bless y'all everywhere around the world. Love getting messages from y'all. Uh, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.